Wrangle. Well, I think I just put my hand in poo. Yay. All right, I am Craig. Welcome to Diary of an Angry Scottish Golfer. Happy Christmas, by the way, to everybody. This will be, today is the 27th, but still, festive season and all that. Happy Christmas. I'm fully kitted out in my new Christmas clothes. New hat, thermal Nike golf hoodie, brown trousers, brown trousers for when I'm on a score, <laughs> in case I shit my pants. Usually when I come up here, I have a bit of an agenda, like I'm gonna play nine holes and I'm gonna hit these clubs off these tees and I'm gonna do that or whatever, but today I don't really have that. The whole plan for today was to come up, play some holes, and just do a bit of chatting to the camera. Something that I've not really done since, kind of since I started these back in whenever it was, May or whatever. I guess it's just because it's coming to the end of the year. And at the start of this year, I mean, I'd never planned to do a YouTube channel or whatever. It kind of just came about organically because I was losing my mind on the golf course and I needed a bit of an outlet. Turns out, I guess, pretty mental but also reasonably comical I guess for people to watch and enjoy so yeah the plan today if you're not really into the videos where I do lots of chatting I don't know maybe this video is not for you because uh, this is just going to be no plan play some holes but mainly like, there's a couple of things that I wanted to chat about so that's what that is we've got a, uh, a new microphone set up so it's actually a wireless microphone like now I'm hoping you guys are able to hear me. So here I've got obviously a, an eagle part of the, the first, but it's a uh, winter green, so. There's a big ass hump here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this big kind of hump here. It's gonna break quite significantly to the left off that, but it's just a total guesswork, isn't it? So I'm not really gonna read too much into this. The, the flag's making a shadow along the ground. It's not a bad kind of line. Just give it a bit of a dunt along that really oh please go in that'd be so funny there you go yeah. easy birdie doesn't count no winter green so this is the second the tees miles up the fairway you can see on the right i'm hoping anyway basically where that big tree is on the right the pin's just kind of behind there you could have a go at this with a, uh, a two iron or something but i don't know I'm not, I'd, I'd rather Try and stick something like a seven iron up the left and uh, take my chances in with a wedge. Play a little bit more conservatively. What is it they say? Aggressively, aggressively play conservatively. Does that make sense? Now they say like, you should aggressive swing at a conservative target. Is that, does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Go at the tree just left of the flag into a wind. So this isn't, I don't need to hit this hard because it's a seven iron, it's not going anywhere. Seven iron, probably like seven iron, nine iron or something. The ground is absolutely soaking here. Nice, smooth swing. Rip the life out of that. That was absolutely nailed. Perfect, another three of those and I'll be on the front. Yeah, the, the plan today is it's actually quite quite nervous making this video because I'm not sure really, it's not so much about the shots, I'm not bothered about that, it's more, more the chat and stuff, like with it coming to the end of the year, like I said, I kind of just wanted to like talk a bit about maybe like why I'm doing this. I decided that the name of this video, I'm going to name it Comparison is the Thief of Joy because it's something that came out of one of the sessions that I had with the golf psychologist Tom, like comparing yourself to other people or speak about it directly like me comparing myself to other people is the, the thief of joy bit all over the place hit my next shot and maybe come back to this point the way i do these is like i just ramble and then and then i edit it and i'm like christ that didn't really make sense anyway I hit a good shot like absolutely right down the middle so we're perfect in line for the flags just there right 96 yards 96 yards into a wind. It's dead cold, the ground is soaking wet. So I've got a swing with a pitching wedge that I think goes about 105 yards. 
She's obviously 10 yards, 10 yards bigger, that flag, but into a wind, into a wind. So this is just a pitch. My bad ones are these, if you watch the video with my lesson, is that my pelvis will spin and I'll open the face up and I'll block it right. So I'm gonna aim on the flag. Aim on the flag, commit, try and hit that 106 yard pitch and wedge. I hope, I'm hoping it's not gonna go high enough. It's gonna clip a branch of that tree. Look, everything I think about is negative. Don't think about negatives, think about positive stuff, right? On the flag, 105 yards. Oh, I pulled it slightly. It's maybe a bit big, is it? Is it? Yeah, it's a wee bit big, yeah. I did say it was about a, like a 10 yard big shot. That's not a bad shot from 100 yards, is it? I mean, what? Like, pace it out. Is it? Two, three, four, six. So what's that? Three feet, like 18 feet or something? Get the pitch marks. In case anybody from the club watches this. Right, so, let's think it breaks off the right. It's not going to break much though because it's soaking wet, so it'll be good. So, you know, I've been bad recently for thinking about my, my stroke as opposed to just try to hold the putt. So I'm just going to try and hold this. That's the right line. How hard? Oh Christ, that's nowhere near harder. Bang on my two. That actually done really well. That was terrible. I had planned on not getting as sidetracked as I typically do. I'm very bad for getting sidetracked with like wildlife and stuff. So I just had a look at some notes that I made to try and keep me on point. So the first note was to thank everybody who watches these because you sometimes can feel quite arrogant like doing these because it's, an, it's quite arrogant to fit for me to stand here and think that like anyone's going to be interested in my ramblings. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Like that's first off. Like I said, I'd never planned on doing this this year. Came for it organically because I mean, I absolutely love golf. Like I really, really love golf. And this just came about because I try pretty hard and uh, I wasn't really getting anywhere because of where my head was at. Dude, since doing the videos, I'm in a way better mind space, mind frame. And it's because of doing them, like chatting to the camera. And you chat things through and it makes you be a bit more introspective. Great word, introspective. Anyway, next shot. Tree, the big tree on the right hand side, which you can see, is 200 yards from here. I want to hit something that's going to leave me short of that. Um, I was going to hit a five iron because that goes 200 yards, but that just unnecessarily brings in the bunker. I mean, this is a six iron, this is never getting there. God, these tight, these trousers are tight, aren't they? Fucking hell. Christ. Guys just hit a shank out of bounds behind me. Pins down the, pins on the right hand side, so I want to be up the left hand side, better angle in. There's a gap between the two chimneys, and there's a tree pointing out that, so I'm going to aim at the V in there, the V in the chimney with a six iron. So this is just a really a case of another, another smooth swing. I held that off a bit funny, but it's dead down the middle. Fade, but because it's a six iron, nowhere near the bunker, no in any bother. Agenda point number one, thank you for watching because it means a lot. Point number two, why do I do these videos? And what, what's the point? And like, what's gonna be the point going forward? Because obviously it's gonna be a new year, so what sort of stuff am I gonna be doing? So the reason I do them, let me think about how to word this, right? I've said I'd like to name this video Comparisons the Thief of Joy because since I've been playing golf growing up, I would always compare myself to other juniors at the club when I was a junior. And then you move into the men's and it's like people who are around about the same category and stuff. And a lot of my mates, like obviously, I play with guys who are kind of similar level and, and better than me. So a lot of my mates are good golfers as well. Um, and I'm really bad for comparing myself with them. There's nothing wrong with doing that if it's done in, like, in the right way and that you're competitive. Like if you're just a competitive person, I think that's fine. I think it's probably quite healthy. The way I was doing it or the way I would have caught myself doing it, it's not healthy. It's like one of my, one of my really close friends is really good, right? And like I play and I practice all the time and he doesn't, he doesn't really, I don't think he ever really practices, he, but he plays occasionally. 
but he's really good. Like he's way better than me. And when I say comparison is the thief of joy, what I mean is like, I would play with him and I would get really pissed off that he doesn't play and I'm playing, practicing all the time and he's better than me. It would really annoy me. It wouldn't annoy me in a healthy way in that it would then drive me to be like, right, okay, let's try and beat him. It would annoy me in a way that I would like, I would almost be not, like, not a dick, but like inadvertently, like I'd be annoyed. So like I'd maybe make snide remarks or whatever. And I've caught myself doing it. Like I chat, like I said, I chatted it over with my um, golf psychologist, Tom, which has really helped. And it's just like, I don't know what I'm getting. I'm gonna hit this next shot. I'm better at doing this when I'm walking. I'm not very good at standing still and doing it. So next shot. Flags back right, 75 yards. Right, so a couple of ways that I could try and play this, just talk it through. 75 yards, I mean, it's, there's nothing really in front of me. The ground is soaking wet, so as much as they say you should get it on the ground and running as much as possible, I feel like there's so many variables. Whereas just a 74 yard shot, it isn't that hard. Yeah, this isn't a bit of a win. 74 yards, I'm already like talking myself out of this and I'm worried about aiming at it because of this tree, which is just ridiculous. It's just a 74 yard pitch. So aim at it, just feel the distance. What I would always do is I'd always be so conscious to try to get the strike that I'd concentrate so much on the technique first and foremost, and then the distance and stuff last, but I feel a wee bit more comfortable with the technique now. That's a good shot. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh yeah, zipped and everything. Maybe a wee bit short, but it, and it zipped the back a touch, but I don't think it's any further away than 15, 20 feet. That's actually not bad. And so, a little bit short, but not terrible. So this is off the left, dead soft. Let's give it a wrap. Didn't move, really. Oh, got wet balls now. Ha! Zing! Got wet balls now. The point I was getting at was, why am I doing these? Because since doing these videos, it's forced me to be a bit more introspe introspective. I almost previously would play down the fact that I really loved golf because it was like not cool. I would always try and emulate the guys who were really good at this golf club. And from an outside perspective, to me, they looked like they weren't arsed. So I thought, right, okay, to be a good golfer, you've got to not really care about golf. But inside I was like, ah, I love golf. Like golf's amazing. So I had to kind of put on like a persona of, I mean, I'm not arsed, I'm not bothered, I'll just NR. I'll just do that. And half the time that I would react to a bad shot, like snap a club or whatever, half the time it was genuinely because I was like, this is what good golfers do. It wasn't until fairly recently that I realized you can be a good golfer and, and not do that. So like I said, these videos are definitely making me better in that regard forcing me to uh, think a bit more. Not even remotely going to mention my score. I'm going to mention that I'm one under. Cursed it, definitely not going to be one under now. Right, okay, talk it through again since you can hear me and I'm mic'd up. So there's a gap between those two big trees behind the green, which is what I'm going to aim at. Just try and put a smooth swing on it again. Not kill it. Oh, that's a good hit, but went dead straight right. It's probably about pin high, but right. T, 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 oh God. I'm like a Marine. No, no man left behind, no T left behind. The point of these videos, like I say, why I do them, is because I want to get better at golf. And I feel like this just makes me a bit more accountable. Um, it's made me think a bit more about the type of person I am the type of golfer I am because previously all this, all these thoughts would just be in my head and they would just come out like I would just feel like I wanted to talk about golf 24 7 with anyone who's listening. Like I was in the gym the other day with my mate walking in, I was like, don't talk about golf. All you do is talk about golf. And because I haven't done one of these in ages, five minutes in, I was like, <laughs> talk about golf. I get a, get a rap from my mates for being very negative. And I think, I mean, it's I've become quite apparent doing these videos and stuff. I probably do have a negative bias. But the reason I would say negative things would be so that I'd be corrected. I played really shite today. 
so that they like so that they would be like no you didn't i thought you hit the ball really well i'd get that oh that's nice they think i'm okay whereas doing these videos you're forced to like stop worrying so much about what people think it's embarrassing like you're carrying a camera about a golf course blathering away to yourself about mental things but it's, i mean it helps me at the end of the day and like i say that i'm trying to get away from that like comparing myself to others like asking others what they think about my game and like to a lesser degree what they think about my videos like i've never really been one for social media so when you post something i'm gonna post one of these videos post and ghost like i'll post it and then i'll just like go out do something else because otherwise i'm like oh how many views has it had do people care and that's kind of counterproductive to the whole point of this the whole point of this was like to stop comparing myself to others to try and compare myself to myself like in the right way last month i done this this month i done this i'm a bit better than i was last month not like played with my mate who never plays i practice all the time he shot 65 i shot 73 i'm shy the world's the world's ending it's not um productive and it's not it, it makes makes me a bad person it makes me not a nice person because i would then just almost despise people for playing well and that's just ridiculous like you'd I'd sit and watch people's scores come in and i'd be like oh god he's shy they're shy and it just makes you so negative whereas this now i'm a lot cheerier anyway next shot i'll pop it on the mat though because this is wrangle oh, i think i just put my hand in poo yay instead of talking myself out of shots i'm trying to start trying to talk myself into shots so before i would be so concerned about what's going on here like getting a strike that i would then like not even remotely think about the shot or the distance or anything so now i can f i feel like i can be a bit more out there oh, that makes sense a bit more out there very out there talking to myself on a bloody golf course thing with these ones for me now pelvis and the left shoulder they feel like they almost come up through impact it's almost counterintuitive because you think if you come up the way you're going to knife it but for me anyway it doesn't appear to be the case landed that way shorter where i wanted it to but that's because there's a guy quite close behind me there and i don't really know where he's come from christ that poo uh, poo again poo gate poo gate that's bang on that's bang on the line 100 percent. no doubt in my mind i mean there is i'm trying to talk myself into this no doubt in my mind don't worry about your stroke this is a performance try and just hit the part you want to hit Needed a wee bit harder. A wee bit harder and this was in. Hate this tee because it just forces you to play a fade. I'm not very good at that. Good, positive. Do you want to play through? No, not at all. Yeah, I'll be blethering away to myself. So you're all right. You can, uh, you can play through. Do you want to be on YouTube? Nah, that's what I was, I was saying. I, like I was saying on that last video, I was like, fuck, I think I'm holding this guy up. But I was like, he wasn't there a minute ago. Strike. Oh, you should have had that on YouTube. You've absolutely nailed that. Oh, that's the, always the way. That's a career best, Kev. Fucking hell. Happy days. Cheers, seen a bit. It's funny, like, I said to him about, uh, I said to him, do you want me to put that on YouTube? And he's like, oh, no, no, I didn't want it, I didn't want it. He's absolutely striped out of the middle. Beautiful wee draw. Couldn't hit it any better. Standard, typical. And the whole thing that I keep harping on about comparing yourself, comparing myself to others, it was really bad for it. And I'm trying to get away from that now. These videos are really helping. It's difficult. The more people watch them, the more I feel a bit of a pressure to like act up or I guess entertain people. Whereas, like I say, I'm honestly I really appreciate anybody who watches these i just need to try and remember like i've had a few people say that they can see that i'm just being very honest which i, I am trying to be because i mean a lot of this shit's really embarrassing to say out loud that like one of my best mates i'd be like envious of him to the point where like we were almost stopped being friends because i was just being so much of a dick and 
doing these helps me be a nicer person. So going forward, yeah, that brings me to my point. Going forward, like what am I gonna do next? The more people watch them and the more pressure I feel to like act up and be a character. And I'm gonna just continue to make them, it sounds, I know, it sounds selfish or I don't want it to sound like I'm not grateful for people watching them because I really am. But I'm just gonna make them for, for me, like doing what I wanna do because it's all about me trying to get better at golf. Um, and if people watch it or get anything out of it, then great. That's why I was nervous about doing this today because it's very emotional, very emotional video for a random, random fat guy playing golf. Christmas has made me fat. Christmas has made me fat. I weighed myself today and I had a full on hissy fit. Full on hissy fit. That's why these trousers are so tight. New though, new trousers, new kicks. New kicks, that's shoes. Right, Kev's miles away. Right, fade, hit a fade. My issue with these is that I always overdo it and I always hit it miles right. So I'm gonna aim further left than I usually would. So I would usually try and start it on the bunker with a like, little fader in the corner. There's a tree just left of that bunker and there's a little gap left of that. That's where I'm gonna start it. So I'm gonna aim there and I'm gonna open myself body-wise to that target. So I'm miles, aiming miles left, and I'm hoping there, nice rhythm, and just cut clean across this. Try and start it left, pull it left with an open club face. Rhythm. Or hit it arrow straight with a draw. That doesn't make sense, those are two different things. Or hit it on the line you were starting it with, with a draw. Like I've said previously, my thing was to put myself down so that other people would, uh, I guess, big me up and I'd feel a bit better. Because you don't, like, I'm now feeling like I don't really need that. Or being, I still need it. Like, I'm not cured. But more now, it's a case of, like, being aware of it. And being aware that it's not a very healthy perspective. All right, 149 yards, uphill, call it 10 yards. So that's 150 million yards, that's one into a wind. It's probably like playing 165, which is in these conditions, probably like a smooth seven iron. Ball's gonna be slightly above my feet, so it's maybe gonna move a, a hair, not much. I'm just gonna aim at the middle of the green. Ah, I struck that well, but leaned out to the right. Go over the bunker. I think it's in the bunker on the right. Did I get over the bunker? No, I didn't. Good. Good, yeah, good. I like being in bunkers. Good. It's uh, preferred lies, by the way. I'm not just cheating. Well, I guess I am, but... Sanctioned cheating, I guess, is allowed. I mean, it's gonna stop quick, isn't it? So I guess just aggressively try and land it round about the hole. That's how hard I like it. Right, wait on the front foot. I was just gonna say, I wanna try and miss this on the pro side, which is ridiculous, because I wanna try and hold it. So, again, like every shot on this hole, that's definitely the line. Just try and hit it on that line. Oh, I can't believe I hit that short. Oh, guff. I didn't think you could leave that short. That's naff. Oh well. Yeah, second part, first time. I forget it's December, mate. Like I say, a little bit embarrassed about the content and stuff that I'm putting out today, but going forward, I said, like, these will be weekly videos that I do it's just centered around me trying to get a bit better at golf. If you get any entertainment out of it, that's awesome. If you think they're shite, yeah, that's fine as well, eh? Like, you're allowed to think they're shite. I think some stuff is shite. I think that putt was shy. <laughs> Banter. I'm gonna hit the conservative option, which for me today is I just wanna knock it down past that bunker on the right. So I'm just gonna hit an easy five iron. Pushed it. That's why you're aiming at a very conservative target. Over the bunker. So yeah, this will be the last video of the year. Finished at 2.8, so not bad. Not bad season, but 
It's a bit of a fake 2.8, isn't it, with the, the new system? No wildlife today. No wildlife. We're in like tier four now, so it's nice that you can still actually play golf because otherwise, the last lockdown, I was losing my mind. I mean, I came out and started doing these videos, so obviously losing my mind. Although, got a bit of a lockdown beard going. Bit of a lockdown beard going. Oh, bloody winter green again. I feel like I've got a lot covered today. I said at the start, there's gonna be more chatting about me losing my marbles as opposed to uh, chatting through golf stuff and that. Though, although this new microphone setup, I feel like aids itself quite nicely to, all I can think about is I just said aids. <laughs> I'm such a child. Aids, 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 aids. So we're 82 yards. I'm gonna try and flight in a low pitching wedge. And yeah, because of the thing that I was saying earlier, almost stand up a little bit through it. Like lift the pelvis, lift that shoulder. I can flight these a bit better. Like I can hit them a bit lower and still strike them well because previously when I was staying over it like that and I was turning crap and I was just chunking everything and pulling it left. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, sit. Oh, it's landed. Oh, it danced about the flag. Sit. Oh, it was hopping, hopping around the flag. Brown, brown, brown trousers. How now, brown trout? How now, brown trout? Oh, see, this is the shit that you never heard before because the camera was far away. Oh well, in for a wee par. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I realize that there's probably not been a lot of golf tonight if you've made it this far. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas and I hope that you have a nice, a nice new year, which will be in a couple of days time. Uh, I will see you in the new year for some new videos. Oh yeah, if uh, I, like I say, I don't really do social media or that, but I don't really know how Facebook works, but I do have a Facebook for this. So, and there's like 14 people like it, which is a bit tragic. So if you guys do have Facebook, um, if you could like that page, it would be nice. If you could like the video, it would be nice, but I don't know. New year though, eh? new year, new you. Don't, don't let me tell you what to do. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.